Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to be talking about 25 gifts that are all under $25. I guess I really don't know what Christmas is all about. I know that the holiday season is quickly approaching, well, it's here, um, and a lot of us are giving gifts to people in our lives, so I am doing this kind of as a two-part series. Um, this video will be 25 gifts under $25, and then another video that is coming out soon. I don't remember the day that it's coming out, but I'll put it here on the screen. Um, that video is going to be all about gifts that you can get from Amazon, so a bunch of last minute purchases and things like that. With that being said, some of the gifts today are from Amazon, just because that's where I get a lot of stuff and shop and I think it's so accessible for a lot of people but not everything is from Amazon and there are also no duplicates between the two videos so altogether I think there are about 50 different gift ideas so I hope that this helps at least one of you and with all of that being said let's hop right into it these are in no particular order and I will also put a picture on the screen of what I'm talking about so I'm actually going to move this way also if you see me looking down um, my laptop is down here and I wrote all the gift ideas there so that's why I'm looking down. Okay, number one, this is a multi-tool key. I don't know the exact wording for it, but it's basically one little key or a little device thing that has a bunch of different tools in it. So I know there are ones that have like rulers and bottle openers and a bunch of just different things that you may just need on a daily basis. So this has it all in one in one little tool and it looks just like a little key so someone could just put it right under the keychain. I think this would make a really good stocking stuffer or for someone that you know is like handy I guess that like would need something like this I think this is a great gift number two is a planner I am someone who doesn't use a paper planner I have tried and I just can never stick to it so I just use my phone on my notes app I write everything down there but if you know someone who likes to be organized and likes to physically write things down then a planner is always a great gift especially for it being in December they'll have a new planner to start 2021 off and I know we all could use a little bit of a breath of fresh air in 2021. The next thing is kind of similar, but it is the five minute journal. I don't know if you guys have heard of this. This is actually something that I'm asking for for Christmas on my wish list, but it's just a little journal. Um, every single page is for a different day. And I think you write down like things that you're grateful for, your goals and just things like that. It's supposed to be a quick little thing, hence the name five minute journal. And it's just kind of supposed to start your day off on the right foot and make you have more of a positive mindset. Again, this is something that I did ask for. So I think this is a great gift clearly I think it's great for someone who means a lot to you in your life I think it's a very personable and meaningful gift next up is a mug warmer um, if you know someone who works from home or has a desk they sit at constantly and they enjoy drinking coffee then I think a mug warmer is a great gift even if they like tea or something like that this also would be great in case you don't know what a mug warmer is it's basically just a little electronic or electric pad for lack of a better word it kind of looks like a wireless phone charger but it's obviously for a mug and you can stick your drink on there and it'll keep it warm so I think that's a great gift I have debated getting one of these for my boyfriend so many times but I haven't because he chugs his coffee but that's a different story kind of going along with the theme of cups and drinks and things like that the next thing on the list is a time-stamped water bottle this is also something that I asked for on my wish list but it basically is just a water bottle and it has a bunch of different times listed on it as the water bottle empties basically if that makes any sense you'll see it in the picture here I think this would be a really great gift for anyone obviously we all need water we all need to drink water and I know many of us have a hard time getting our water take in myself included I go through phases where I'm really good about it and then I'll get off of it and I just completely forget about water so I think this would be a great gift for someone next up is a wine bottle stopper um, I got one of these for my sister last year for Christmas because it was on her list but it's basically just like a little stopper that you put the top of your wine bottle I know they make ones for champagne and also for wine bottles but it just helps the wine stay fresher for longer and like for me for example I live alone so I don't finish a whole bottle of wine in one night if you do go you but I typically don't. So having one of these would be super helpful so that my wine doesn't go bad and I'm not just wasting half of a bottle when I don't finish it. Continuing on with the beverage theme. I know I have a lot of stuff in this theme, but I always think that these ideas are just great for adults. So these are marble ice stones. Basically, these are just stones that you put in your freezer. They freeze, they get super, super cold, and then you can put them in your beverage, whether it's alcoholic or not. And it won't water your drink down, obviously, because it's not real ice. 
So I think this is a great gift. I know that my boyfriend used to love drinking whiskey on the rocks and the worst part was when the ice would start melting obviously. So this would be a great gift for that. Next up are slippers. I know this is a very typical idea and gift, but I love slippers. I have fallen in love with slippers ever since having my own place. I know it sounds so dumb, but just like walking around having a nice pair of slippers is the best feeling ever. So I think getting a pair of slippers for someone in your life, whether they're Uggs, which is obviously more expensive, or a pair that's under $25, which you can find plenty of, I think someone would really appreciate that. Next up is actually a game. Um, I have this game, it's so much fun. It's called the Forbidden Words Game. Basically, it's like the heads up game. I don't know if you guys have heard of it, but it's like the game that Ellen created, I think, where you like hold something up and someone has to give you clues and you have to guess it. So, there's a fuzz. I know the lighting just changed, I'm sorry. My window's over there, but that's an ugly background, so I wanted to film this way, but anyway. Um, but basically, it is a game similar to the Ellen game, like I just said, and it's super fun. It's by the creators of the game, What Do You Meme? I don't have that game, I've never played that game, but this game is super fun. Um, there are some like inappropriate cards, so maybe be careful who you give this to. If you give it to like your parent, maybe you don't wanna play with them. I played with my parents, but whatever. Um, but yeah, I think it's a great game, it's super fun. It also could be a super fun gift to give and then play on Christmas Day or on Christmas Eve, whatever. I think that would be very fun. Next up is a reloadable film camera. I know that these became popular within the last couple of years again, but I think they're such great gifts, especially you could give it to someone and then you guys could go take pictures together or kind of make an outing using this camera. So I think that would be super fun, especially for like a best friend or something like that. The next thing on my list is an electric tea kettle. I'm someone who loves to drink tea almost every day, so having an electric tea kettle would be super nice. Um, I have one that just goes on the stove and I love it as well, but if someone didn't want to have a tea kettle on the stove, then an electric tea kettle would also be a great option. I'm pretty sure they heat up like super, super fast. So if you know someone in your life that loves tea, then this would be great. Next thing is a seamless top. It's kind of like a mix between a sports bra and a tank top. So if you know someone who loves to work out, then this would be a great gift. I actually have ones that are very similar to this. They're not these exact ones, but I do have tanks that are just like these and I love them. I wear them all the time, whether I'm working out or not. So I would personally love to receive this as a gift. Next up are a pair of leather gloves. These ones in particular are tech friendly, so you can use your phone or whatever while you're wearing them. They're a nice pair of leather gloves. If you live in a cold climate, then this would be a great gift. Next on my list is a Amazon Echo Dot. I know most of you probably know what these are, but they're obviously just little like smart homes that you can use around your house or apartment or whatever. They're so convenient. You can use them to control lights. You can use them for music. You can use them for basically everything. So getting someone one of these, especially if maybe they just got a new home or something like that, I think this would be great. And then I have a mini waffle maker, kind of going on with the last idea. If someone maybe just got a new home, then getting them a little appliance, whether it's a little waffle maker or a panini press or whatever the case is, I think that could be a great gift. This could also be really perfect for someone who is in college or has a smaller apartment and doesn't have a lot of space for large things, then getting them a mini waffle maker would work perfectly. Okay, I could totally just switched the angle. I know, I'm sorry, I know it's kind of weird, but the lighting keeps changing and I didn't want to have to mess with it the whole video. So, continuing on. I have a Magnolia table cookbook. If you go to Target or if you like home decor, then you've probably heard of the whole Magnolia line. It's from Chip and Joanna Gaines. They have a TV show, I forget what it's called, on HDTV. But anyway, this is a cookbook from Joanna um, and it's just very a aesthetically pleasing and also the recipes look super nice So if you know someone who's into that type of stuff, then this would be great Another idea is getting someone acrylic picture frames So these specific ones on the screen that you're seeing right now are from crate and barrel They come in a bunch of different sizes I believe the ones on the screen are five by seven and six by eight But getting someone a nice picture frame and putting a picture of something that you did together or you guys or whatever the case is That would be a great gift. It's very personable and meaningful Meaningful, so I think that's very sweet. Okay, we're almost done. Um, just a few more things. Next thing are wine glasses. I know I talked about the bottle stopper earlier and I said that I have a lot of things that have to do with alcohol and beverages, but I think they do just really make great gifts. So getting someone a nice set of wine glasses. These ones are very inexpensive, but they had really, really good reviews on Amazon. They are stemless wine glasses, which I think look very sleek. You can also oftentimes find inexpensive wine glasses at TJ Maxx, so that's also a place you could check. Okay, last thing on the whole alcoholic beverage list is an aerator. Um, I personally don't know a lot about wine. My dad does, but an aerator, I think just like gets 
I don't even know what they do. I probably shouldn't even be including this because I'm like clueless. But if you know someone who's into wine, again, not like myself, then getting some in an aerator, they'll know what it does. They'll know how it works. It would be great. Next up are gift sets from Ulta or even Sephora or something like that. I know this is a very typical gift and not very creative, but specifically I saw one that's from Living Proof. So it has some hair stuff from Living Proof. And then there was also one from Tarte. I believe it had the Shape Tape Concealer and also like a highlighter brightening thing. But really any set from Ulta that you think would fit the person that you're finding a gift for it would work. And I know these aren't super creative, but they are typically A, a good deal and also they're products that people like. So if you know someone that's into beauty or that world, then this would be great. Next up is an Amazon smart plug. I know I talked about the Echo Dot earlier, but if you didn't want to get someone a whole kind of system for their home, then you could just get them a smart plug or two. These are plugs that you plug into the wall and then you can plug just a regular something into it. Typically they come with like an app, I believe. I have one in my living room that my lamp is plugged into it and I can tell my Google to turn the lamp on and off just because it's connected through the plug. So this is a great gift, especially if you know someone who's into tech or something like that. Next up is an essential oil diffuser. I personally have one of these. I know a lot of people have one of these, but if you know someone in your life that doesn't or maybe needs a new one or an upgrade, then getting them an oil diffuser would be great. Just be careful because I know certain oils aren't safe with pets or like the quality of oils you have to be careful with. So that's just something to note. Regardless, getting them an oil diffuser for someone who likes to relax or maybe needs to relax, this would be great. Three more things. Um, next up is a hair hair towel again kind of going with the whole beauty thing but I mean anyone can use a hair towel you don't need to be into beauty everyone showers I hope but it's just a towel that you put on your head after you shower it's supposed to make your hair dry a lot faster and I think it's supposed to also help with frizz so I know I would love to get this because my hair is a whole ordeal after I shower last two things um, one is a curling wand I actually use it today my hair is a mess so this isn't a great representation of how it actually works but I've had this curling wand for probably like eight years or something ridiculous long it's worked this entire time it still works great again this is not a representation of how it works because I did this in like two seconds it's a great curling wand if you don't want to get them this one then you can obviously get another one but just getting maybe a hot tool or something like that for someone in your life would be great and then last but not least this is kind of a weird one to end off on but it's a cold brew maker a lot of people drink coffee obviously so getting someone a cold brew maker so that they can make their coffee at home instead of going out would be really nice you could also maybe pair like a bag of coffee or whatever you want with this it could be a very good gift to pair with other things but however you chose to do it i think it'd be a great gift and that is the final idea i really hope that this video gave you some ideas of gifts that you can get for some people this holiday season of course it's not about the gift giving or the gift receiving but i think it is sometimes nice just to get something special for someone in your life let me know what else you would like to see in terms of holiday content again i do have the amazon gift video going live soon so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that because this video will be going live before that one i know i just said a lot but please subscribe and i will see you in my next video isn't there anyone who knows what christmas is all